Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our fourth tutorial of Power BI. In this tutorial, we will learn a very basic concept of Power BI, which is merge query and append query. And this is also a very important question for an interview point of view. Mostly recruiters ask this question, what is the difference between merge and append? So I will clear here the difference between the merge query and append query. So please make a separate note of it. And please watch my previous video so that you guys can better understanding of the Power BI. And I have also shared same Excel file in my second tutorial under the description box. You guys can free download from there. In the previous video, we have just learned merge column, add column, remove column and sorting. And if you missed that class, so I will recommend go and watch that video. So let's start the video guys. So here we have a very interesting feature which name is merge query. Merge query simply means adding a new column from other tables. We can also add many columns as per the requirement. If you are an Excel user, so you guys have understanding about VLOOKUP. So this performs same like VLOOKUP, which means taking column from different tables. So now we have to add one more Excel file into Power Query Editor. So this is a prerequisite guys. We have at least two tables are here. So I will add one more table here, which name is customer requirement. So what I do, I just simply upload one more table. Here is our table guys, it is customer requirement. If you guys observe, it's showing OK, either load or transform because we are in Power Query Editor window, not in Power BI Desktop. So I'll click OK. Now you can see one more table has added, which is customer requirement. So first I click customer table. Now we will go to merge query option. And here it's asking two questions. Merge queries and merge query as new. So if you guys want to display the data in same table, then you can select merge query. But if you want to display the data into new table, then you need to select merge query as new. So here I am selecting merge query. Here now you guys can see new box has pop up. And you guys can see only one table. So firstly, we need to choose other table. So what we need to do, we just go to this small drop down, select another table. Now we need to select common column from both the table. In both the table, we have a customer ID column is common. So once you selected customer ID, now you guys can see small error has pop up, which is select the same number of columns from both visible tables to continue. That means you need to select the same column. Now you guys can see the error message has gone and convert into the green tick. Now you can click OK. Now you guys can see we got a new column here. So what we need to do, we need to just click this small button to expand this table. So once you click it, we guys can see here we have a list of all the columns from customer requirement table. Now you can select or deselect the columns accordingly. So first I'll unselect all the columns and I'll select customer requirement only. Then click OK. And now you guys can see new columns is here and we have fetched this column from customer requirement table. So in this way, we can use merge queries. So now we will study append query. Append query simply means we can append two table, which means we just simply add two table into one table. But the data type and column name should be the same in both the tables. I'll firstly make you understand what are data types. You guys can see here in this column, there's a small option of ABC, which means it's a string. Move backward and you guys see 1, 2, 3, which means this is integers. And if we have a date column here, guys, let me check. Yes, there's a date column, guys. So you guys can see here is a calendar table, which means it's the date time. And you can also check the data type from here as well. Here is the list of data type. So while appending the query, so data type and column should be the same. So I will upload two more table here. So I can make you understand better about append query. So guys, in today's class, we have just discussed merge and append query. And in our upcoming videos, we will also learn more thing about Power Query Editor. So please stay tuned with us and kindly share this channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much guys.